COVID-19. So the COVID-19 pandemic has changed the world. Commercial flights are down significantly, and we're here because we want flights back, and we want revenues back, and we want people to be safe. Uh, when we are, when Yakir mentioned before uh, what airports need to do, he talked about the biosensing, but still we have all the legacy systems that need to be handled as well. If you look at this, uh, at this image here, you understand that these long lines are no longer uh, practical and acceptable in the age that you need to keep social distancing. And this is where we are coming into play in Citru when we provide higher passenger throughput and enable opening less bags to reduce the contact of security officers, bags and passengers. We're not only doing that to enable the social distancing and to reduce the risk of infection, but also improve the operational efficiency and revenue for the airports that got the hit, the financial hit from the COVID-19. So we are a software company focused on security screening. We're already deployed in the field commercially and today improved throughputs around, in airports around the world by more than 30%. This means that you can have lines shorter and have more social distancing. We're doing that, that on top of our proprietary technology with more than 200 patents in the field and this is actually working. Back to the question Lali answered. So let's see how it works. So we connect, if you can see on the top left, number one, we connect to existing screening machines as you know them. When we want to reduce the, when you want to improve the passenger throughput, you need to have a faster screening process and open less bags. In order to that, you need to find and open the right bags, right? You don't want to open ir irrelevant bags and you don't want the screeners to stop and look too much at bags that they don't need to. This is what holds the queue. So we use artificial intelligence to analyze the images and data in real time and open only the bags that you need to open with the real threats. So if you look at the, at the top, at the bottom left picture, number two, you see that we detect uh, prohibited items such as uh, guns, knives, explosives, etc., And we are able to do that in a very low uh, false alarm or reject rate, meaning that you open less than half of the bags that usually airports are opening today. This means that the entire flow is, is moving much faster. And in the example here, when you see that the operator do need to open a bag based on our recommendation, then he spends three to five seconds on it instead of 15, 20 or 30. And the bag ta is taken to the side to another operator. So in that time, the flow continues and you don't create the line and queue and you can still keep the social distancing. And obviously, you want to uh, find the threats and, and keep the security and even improve the security. So we enable social distancing and improving the business performance with our artificial intelligence. Once you enable higher passenger throughputs, higher social distancing, at the same time, you also take the passenger faster into the commercial area, which is the area uh, in which airports are usually doing around 30% of the revenues. At these times, it's even more important to get passengers there as fast as you can. On the other hand, you will, we also enable reducing the operational cost because we need less people to operate the screening. So first of all, you need less people to get exposed if you need also to manage shifts and manage different teams uh, in quarantine if some, someone is infected. And you can spend less money on a non-revenue generating operation such as security. And we're doing all that while improving the security level itself because the detection rates we're doing, which are over 90%, are not, are not parallel to what operators are really doing. And with, for the sake of time, you can later Google uh, latest, uh, latest uh, uh, 
uh, news from TSA to see how detection rates uh, found out that when there are less than 10% passengers, they, they find more than three times uh, guns with respect to the size of the population, meaning that usually the actual detection rates are not as good as you would think. So some product highlights, we connect today both to uh, X-ray machines and CT machines, also to the CT checkpoint machines, which are now introduced into the market. We can connect to any existing X-ray or CT machine. The airport doesn't need to change anything of its infrastructure. It's a software solution connected into the existing uh, hardware that they have. We also provide a management dashboard to, to the operations of the airport so they can track and see uh, what's it, what is going on, the pace and fix uh, if there are issues throughout the day, uh, this is getting fixed. And we see some customers using it also to measure the SLA versus uh, services companies that are doing in some places this, the actual security and provide the people. The integration itself is fast and you, during this COVID-19 uh, area in which we, we don't travel, uh, we're able now to install the systems remotely and we have now installations done remotely uh, and a system can be up and running in less than two months, in four to six weeks, and get, get the airport operations improved immediately. Uh, as I said, the system is already deployed. This is an example from one of our existing customers with more than a million passengers passing a, a year with over 30% throughput improvement, improved passenger experience, improved uh, dwell time in the commercial area. And now they're also benefiting from the ability to have better social distancing. So Citru uh, is a company working already in airports, already delivering operational, uh, operational results. Uh, enabling social distancing, but not limited to that. We impact the financial results of airports by reducing their costs and helping them improving revenues with better dwell time in better dwell time in the commercial areas. Doing all that, the company is improving the security results and, and reduces also the security risk, not only the safety now with COVID-19. 